hope you guys can hear me. Uh, you have to pardon the uh, helmet here. I just got done uh, going for a ride on my bike. Uh, this is my motorcycle. It is a 2015 Kawasaki ZX6R 636. I've had it for two years now and I've put on how many miles? Quite a few. 13,000, like 200 or a little more. And uh, I don't know how much you guys know about uh, Kawasaki, but they make a mean motorcycle. This thing is awesome. Um, but the best part about that is not how well it shifts. It's not how fast it is, how ridiculous. It's like, man, I should have bought a scooter or something, that kind of fast. Uh, not the way it looks, because it looks fantastic. Um, it's all stock, except for the tank pads and whatnot. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't like put an exhaust on it, nothing like that. But uh, the best part about it is I don't pay anything for this bike right here. Um, it's free. And how I mean that is I use it to make more money than it costs me to own it. And how that works is um, for one of the companies that we have, we're actually here at the mill. Um, my shop is, or our shop, it's right, uh, right up there, this side of the building here. Uh, that's where AccuEdge is. And what I do to get my bike paid for is I sub my bike out to the company. I use it for business purposes. So if I'm going to meet a client uh, or if I'm going to pick up items or if I'm dropping things off or if I'm doing any kind of, any kind of thing that's work related except for commuting, uh, I get compensated. And if it's enough to, you know, you just have to use it enough at a certain rate. So I'm getting 57 and a half cents per mile for every mile that I drive this. And I drive, I drive actually quite a bit on it, but the best thing to do is, uh, is to have an asset that makes you money. Because, you know, it is a depreciating value. It's a motorcycle and like, you only get to use it six months out of the year. So you have to make hay while the sun shines, kinda. And during the summer, use your motorcycle if you have one to make some cash. This also works with um, cars and trucks and pretty much any asset that you have, uh, you can use it to make money. And it just, it just depends on how you want to go about it. Um, I already have an avenue built up with the two companies that I can rent whatever, whatever, to, the, whatever to them and I get compensated for it. So this is about, it was $12,000 when I bought it. Uh, this is my second motorcycle. Uh, I have another another Kawasaki that's black like this one, um, and you know if you were to buy this bike right now and take out a loan and put like a thousand dollars down or whatever, it'd be about three hundred dollars a month. So three hundred dollars a month, and I have this thing fully covered and all that for I think my my insurance on it is like four hundred dollars for a six month period, which isn't too bad. So that's eight hundred dollars a year, and you know you keep keep it insured while it's stored and whatnot, but. So and then you have all the gas and you have all that. So it actually costs quite a bit to own this. And you know, I've gone 13,000 miles, but you know, just at the price of the vehicle plus tax and all that, I'm already paying a dollar per mile that I drive on this thing. So it has to bring in a dollar per mile or more. Otherwise, you know, I'm losing money. So the same thing goes with a house or if you have an apartment or if you have a truck or a van or a piece of equipment. Like right now, uh, we're looking at getting another piece of equipment for our shop here, um, a big machine press. And that has to bring in more money than it costs us to get it, otherwise it's not a good venture, you know? And there's all kinds of different ways that you can get this stuff going for you. Like if you, you can pretty much get whatever you want for free as long as it pays you money, as long as you make it, you know, uh, an in a source of income. That's pretty much how you do it, and you know if you're if you're looking for that kind of thing, you know just uh, send uh, send us a message or whatever, and we can you know we can work that out. But it's it's all it's a pretty simple process. You kind of just you know look for something. What do you want? Like you have to think about what you want. And we're, right when we were starting our companies, you'd be like, hey, you know what would be great is if we could use our motorcycles in the company and have the company at least pay for our motorcycles you know it's it's a hobby it's fun but they're also an asset you know it's quick it's cheap to get around I get about 50 miles to the gallon with this thing if I'm running reasonable and not being all like 
you know, crazy with it. But you can you can do this with anything, and it's it's kind of find being motivated, find something that you kind of like, and be curious. You know, there's a way to do whatever you want. If it's own a motorcycle for free, you know, an awesome sport bike like this, or a cruiser, or if you want a car, like you can get a brand new vehicle, go out, get a loan, and have have it pay for itself. Of course, you have taxes and all that other stuff that you have to do, and you have to make sure that you're doing it legally. Uh, right now, the IRS, I think, is the rate for vehicle mileage that you can be paid is like 50, 57 and a half, I think, because that's what we compensate at. But you know, if you if you work for somebody and you're using your vehicle for business purposes, they don't have to pay you 57 cent, 57 cents a mile. They don't have to. That's just what the IRS and the federal uh, federal system uh, kind of acknowledges that's what they think that they should compensate but you don't have to and make sure that if you are using a vehicle for any kind of business anything that you're tracking your miles there's all kinds of apps that you can get you get like a mile IQ or something like that you see the commercials for that on YouTube or whatever you know there's all and make sure you keep track of that because that is money out the door if you don't at the end of the year because either you get to get compensated or at the end of the year, you get to use it as a write-off. So you say, hey, I use this much, you know, this much assets and this many resources uh, for work. And you know, they're gonna give you a little bit off on your taxes and whatnot. But this is there's one just one of the cool things that we have going on right now, and it's like we're on uh, year two of AccuEdge and it's already paying for our motorcycles and our cars and stuff like that. So, you know, that's getting pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have going on? Just uh, may have struck a deal with a uh, a manufacturer we're gonna have uh, we're gonna start making this pretty cool part and I'll, I'll get you guys some uh, some footage of that when it starts coming about but you know we're gonna start actual sales and not just you know we're moving into manufacturing and getting things online going so we can have some more uh, passive income because right now we're just services we have two different service companies going you know and we're really active in those and you know it's all the time we get up at 4 you know and it's like we're working until what is it? 9:30 at night. This whole past week has been pretty crazy. You can probably see that I'm a little tired. But you know, because we're chasing it, you're chasing that dream. You know, because if you have to trade your time for money, that's probably the worst trade you could possibly make. T your time and you are your best assets, and you're using those to not get much. You know, money. M there's tons of money. Money is everywhere. But there's no time. You can't just pick that up and stuff in your pocket and add it to a bank account get to live another year you don't get to do that so it's finding a way in reasonable time to get what you're looking for and you know if you guys are kind of wondering about this kind of thing or you have an idea there's something that you want to see if you can set up to maybe get your vehicle or your car for free or whatever you know send send me a message or uh, or just post it in the, the comment strip below or something like that and you know we'll, we'll see if we can work on this kind of thing for you because because hey what I want for me I want for you guys as well and uh, I hope you I hope you kind of like this thing and if you have any questions about uh, businesses or you know ways to improve what you've got going a lot of times it's easier to push the ball ahead than to get it rolling you know if you're if you're trying to come up with something cold turkey you know you just slam down your job and say hey I want to start a business and go crazy at it you know it might take a little bit to get going and you might have to you might have to really push but if you already have something you already have an asset you can just find a way to employ it or, or push it ahead a little bit more and next thing you know you're in the money but pretty cool anyway it's a lot of fun and uh, nice the waterfall in the backyard and back uh, background I hope you guys can hear me it's pretty loud it's rolling pretty good that's nothing you should see that thing in the spring man but yeah it's time to go home get something to eat and call it a day it's been a long one been up since four I have no idea what time it is now but my baby and uh, this thing's great it shifts great I mean if you guys have never ridden a Kawasaki you gotta you gotta try it out they know how to make a bike man yep so pretty much find something that you want you know think about something that you're looking for something that you want what would be really cool in your life what would you like to experience or like to have and then pretty much just find out how things work find out how you get paid Per mile, how do you like? How could you get that going at what you already have? Like where you're working or the business that you have? How do you get this kind of thing going? And how do you make sure that's going to be profitable? It's going to pay. It's going to be a good. It's going to be a good idea. 
find out how things work. Do some research. See what other people are doing. Pick up some books. Message people like me who already have this kind of thing going. Or or just think on it and really really dig because if you you know you think hey uh, maybe I want to have a motorcycle and for free I don't want to have to pay for it but I want to ride it but I don't have to pay for it now, next thing you know a little thought might go a long way in your wallet and on the road uh, for all my riders out there you know what that means but uh, all right I'm gonna go home get something to eat I'll see you guys next time and like and subscribe and we'll keep more of this stuff going next time we'll talk a little bit more about uh, about what it is that we actually do and maybe I'll introduce you to a little bit of what we do during the day business wise and we'll talk a little bit about how to make some money on the side if that's what you guys are looking for alright gotta gotta ride Taylor out <laughs>